Hey everybody, it's Letitia. If you know me, you know I do a lot of DIY and thrifting, but if you're new to this channel, I actually suffer from acne. Suffer like, like suffer. And I've been documenting my process. I don't think I've had clear skin since I was maybe 12 years old. It's definitely hormonal. I finally figured it out. But there's also things that I do externally to help with the process. So your girl is here today with no foundation, just a lot of eye makeup because, I mean, I could look busted everywhere else, but at least my eyes look okay. And just blush and eyebrows. You will have a special guest today. And then there's another guest trying to compete for the crown. We have my very least favorite person in the whole entire world, my sunspot. And then some recovering acne, but luckily nothing active. I have refined the shit out of the skincare. And I hope that this can help you if you're suffering from acne. This is not bad. This is actually the best I've been in a long time. But this is my skin right now. I'll come closer for you guys to see. The first thing is fresh out of the shower, fresh after washing my face. I wash my face twice a day. And then to start is using pimple stickers. And pimple stickers is like the biggest thing right now. But for me, they do more than just healing acne. They actually really help me from picking my face. I have a pretty bad picking problem. It's kind of linked to stress and anxiety. I actually get texts from my friends to stop picking my skin and sometimes I don't even realize I'm picking at my skin because it's a hydrocolloid sticker. It absorbs any excess sebum and any moisture. I find that it really flattens out any swollen area so if you have any raised open wound, once I take it off the area has completely flattened. It's not as red Compared to when I don't have a sticker on, it definitely takes a lot longer for the swelling to go down as well as the redness. I've tried a couple of different brands. I found that Cozarx brand has been particularly good. A few of my brands are Korean and I source all of my Korean skincare from Take Good Care. Also from Take Good Care is their pink acne solution. I think the three most effective ingredients in that is calamine lotion, a, a lot of alcohol, and glycolic acid. Calamine is meant to reduce swelling, alcohol is meant to dry out that pimple, and then the glycolic acid is meant to slough off the skin. I used to mostly have cystic acne, and now mine are mostly like small cystic ones. Very small, not the same as what they used to be like large and painful. It's also a really fast solution to shrinking some flaming red acne, especially the ones that haven't opened yet. The ones that have opened, I'll deal with with the pimple stickers. And then I put toner on. The current one that I'm using is the Belief Witch Hazel Toner. Witch Hazel, I'm sure you've heard, is great for acne. And this one in particular I like because it's also good for dry skin. It has hyaluronic acid, so it's a moisturizing Witch Hazel Toner. And it's kind of... um. It kind of has the texture of a serum. I try to avoid using cotton pads, so this one is great because I just dab it onto my palm and then slap it on my face. And while toner doesn't really have a dramatic solution to my skin, I think what's good to it is that it balances the overall pH of your skin, which preps it for absorbing your nutrients for your other skin products. And every other night, at night, I'll use this Vichy peeling solution. This one has glycolic acid in it. I use a combination of AHAs and BHAs. Both are really effective ways to exfoliate your skin. For BHAs, I use the Cozarex Blackhead Power Liquid. This one I, is very gentle. I can use it day or night. So usually salicylic acid is diluted in some sort of solution. This one is mixed with willow bark water, so not just plain water. And it's very gentle, so then I use that on top of the AHA. Apparently salicylic acid technology has really developed, so if you were trying salicylic acid in the past and it wasn't working, it was over drying and irritating to your skin, the technology has developed so it actually might work better now than in the past, so I do encourage you to try if you want to. So next is serum, and I use SkinCeuticals vitamin C E ferulic acid and that one is like a cult favorite which I did not know about. I do always make sure to incorporate a vitamin C product 
into my routine. The benefits of vitamin C is that it's a pigment inhibitor and vitamin C is a pretty volatile ingredient. Like if you keep it at the wrong temperature, if you mix it with something else in your routine, so you could pack in as much vitamin C as you want, but if you put it the wrong way, it, it just cancels out. Ferulic acid is apparently a great pairing with it because it helps stabilize it a bit more which makes the ingredient even more impactful on your skin. Do you ever find that you break out and like you have like a cluster of breakouts? For example, this cheek and like here around my eyebrow and it's frustrating. Cosrx has this Centella spot treatment cream and it feels like a very rich moisturizer, so I was very hesitant to use it. Everything just kind of shrinks a little smaller, gets a little lighter, heals a little faster. And this one I use selectively, so I'll use it like just in the little areas on my off days. And then if I'm going out for the day, then I put on sunscreen. And it's the Biore UV Watery Essence sunscreen. The Asians have sunscreen down to a science. It feels like you're putting on water. I've never felt sunscreen like this in my life. And sometimes I'll touch up with powder sunscreen if I remember or if it's a very sunny day, especially if you're using any of the exfoliating acids, AHAs and BHAs, then you wanna be putting sunscreen on. So then after all that, I go in with my holy grail. Like out of everything in this routine, this single product has changed my skin. Everything else is like you work in combination and then put together it's become this very effective whole package. I can use this one product alone and it'll make a visible difference to my skin. And it's oil. So I don't get it. And my skin is always very dry in the winter and nothing fixes it. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream has been really good for my skin, but I do find that it congests just my jawline. But then I started trying this, which the texture of this, it's like, it's so thick and it melts into an oil. If you don't have dry skin or oh, if you have acne and you're like me, the second that you put on oil, you feel like you're instantly making breakouts. So the ingredients in Egyptian Magic is mostly honey, beeswax, and olive oil. The olive oil doesn't break me out. No idea why. I will not try putting kitchen olive oil on my skin. I feel like it could be the quality of the ingredient itself. It was like overnight my skin was plumper, it was softer, and when you see on their website, they say they do not recommend it for people with acne. And then I was worried because I went to the Bahamas and I was like, I think I want to test it out in hot tropical weather to see if I can only use this product in the winter. Used just a little bit when I was in the heat and it distributes very well since it melts into an oil. And it worked perfectly fine in the Caribbeans. I didn't break out at all on that trip. And I do really appreciate that it's a very minimal list of ingredients and every ingredient I can pronounce and understand. It's completely safe for me to use all over my face. I should be using an eye cream because I know that um, because sometimes it does congest this area a little bit. I do use it on my eyelids with no problem, but if you're prone to styes, maybe avoid it. I know that oil is the only way to dissolve other oils, and I do use an oil cleanser to take off my makeup, but I also use a gentle gel cleanser to take off the oil cleanser. I'd love to hear everybody else's recommendations for your skincare because I know you I, you know I've never tried the ordinary. I know that they have some really great acne stuff. They have some great chemical exfoliants. But also do your research on what you're using in your existing skincare to make sure that even though it says that it's good for acne, maybe the secondary product that you're using could be making things worse. There are some really great brands out there and I am still breaking out here and there, so there will be things that I'll be swapping out to try, but this is as close to perfection as I've gotten for skincare. And I really wanted to share with you guys 
how I've been dealing with it. If you have any acne related videos that you want me to make, let me know. I'm documenting all of it. Also how I'm going to be dealing with this sunspot. And just the other day I filmed a microscopic view of my skin with my friend Nami. She has a microscopic camera. We went into the skin and if you haven't seen the other acne related videos you can watch them here on the playlist be sure to check out the podcast girl wa you can also find me on instagram at letitia q and i will see you guys next time bye